Assemblée, au nom de la République française, nous vous faisons chevalier de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres. I know France is not just a country of cinema, it's a great guardian for culture in general. In receiving the Chevalier of Arts and, and Letters, I understand I, I joined a group of a luminous group of men and women from all over the world. Thank you very much. Et puis maintenant, sans plus attendre, il est temps. Monsieur Angli. I, I read the book 10 years ago when it came back uh, when it came out um, I, I didn't feel there was a movie uh, uh, for obvious reasons uh, for anything anybody's reasonable will make this movie <laughs> four or five years ago when Elizabeth there uh, asked me to do it I kept asking are you sure are you, are you, are you really sure you want to spend um, I think this is the thing when something looks impossible, but when you have a chance, it becomes very, very seductive. So I started to have crazy thought, like maybe if I have a framing structure, I can examine and feel the movie at the same time. Then a light bulb came up. If, if I do it in 3D, if I open up another dimension, maybe the chance will open up. Uh, maybe I have a chance. Just those maybes really, uh, Uh, help me slog through the four very difficult years. Um, but that's a long story, why I want to do it. It's still a mystery. I think when Elizabeth kind of asked me to do it, I, I guess uh, that this little movie devil or movie god has spoken to me. Uh, so we, we did a long search, over 3,000 kids, and I met Suraj. The first time I saw him, I began to see the movie. Um, It's an uncanny feeling. I don't know if it's professional <laughs> experience or my intuitive feelings. Uh, I just got a sense that uh, he looks like Pi. It's, it's very hard to envision, I think, from the book, how Pi looks like. And then when I saw him, I got the feeling he is Pi. C'est également un film qui est fait, pensé pour la 3D. Que pensez-vous, vous, des déclarations de James Cameron, qui est un, en, en la matière un maître, évidemment, depuis Avatar Je vais citer James Cameron pour ne pas édulcorer son propos. Il parle carrément d'une révolution dans l'histoire du cinéma numérique. Comment on reçoit ce compliment-là venant de cette personne-là Uh, it really flatters my egos and makes me feel great uh, coming from James Cameron. Uh, when he said that, I think it's very nice, but I think both of us, or anybody who got it this deep into 3D knows that we're just novice of this new thing. Uh, we don't know where it's going, but I, I, I hope it becomes a legitimate artistic form. Uh, I think Avatar is the first one who push, legitimize the media to be um, a storytelling tool. Uh, that, that's a oui. huge, huge, that's a, that's a giant step. J'avais une question au sujet de l'attaque des poissons volants, euh, parce que le format de l'image change, et euh, c'est un choix esthétique curieux, et j'aurais voulu savoir pourquoi vous l'avez fait. Ever since I was your age, I was asking that question, why do we have to do one format? <laughs> why don't we change it? I always want to do it. For example, when I did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, when they vault, when they do the leaping, I want a standard, I don't want to see 185. And when I go to the desert, I want to see a wide screen. That's how, you know, desert should be seen. Uh, I, I think in here, it's because it's 3D, it's digital. I think uh, these days, changing format is not a big deal, like projecting film. It's very easy. So I, I did want to do it. And for that scene, I think the best way to see the flying fish scene is wide screen, and no doubt. And for 3D, the extra black in the top and the bottom, that you can make the fish really sticking out. So, so it feel extra, you know, it's an illusion that it make you feel like the fish is right, right in front of you. I think this extra black space help, help create that illusion. So I think it's just that, that scene has to be seen that way.